In this video, I'll be explaining how to use a stone picker to create beautiful designs on your plain fabric like you can see me do so. You can also use a stone picker to apply stones on soft fabric that would easily get burnt if you use iron such as skin net and other soft fabric like you can see on the screen. You can use a stone picker and it will not get burnt while fixing the stones. At the end of the video, I'll be explaining the difference between this particular stone picker and this this stone picker and if this is something you're interested in knowing kindly continue watching to the end of the video greetings and welcome to my youtube channel so first let's unbox this the packaging of this stone picker is so nice it feels like i bought a shoe so this is the content of the packaging isn't this so nice it have different sizes for different stones it comes in four different sizes i've already fixed one in all you have to do is to unscrew this and fix another one depending on the size of stone you are working with and this is for the medium size so i would just leave it like that and then this um melter part like this it is to serve as where you place the stone picker on when you have plugged it because it's normally very hot and it might lightly burn any light surface you place it on then it comes with this cable which you can plug into this point like this then you go ahead to plug it to your extension this is the power button if you turn it on it will show a yellow light for normal then the blue light for hot then the red light for very hot which is something i use so that the stone can fix very fast on my fabric so this is like a sample of stones that came with the pack which is what we are going to be using the stones are in different sizes but i'll be using the one that goes well with the picker i have screwed in now when you are using a picker please ensure that the tip of the picker is smaller than the stone you are using so it will not touch your fabric in any way especially if you are working on a light fabric yes even if the tip is smaller it will still pick the stone so make sure you use a smaller size picker so that the melter will not have any access to your fabric but just the stone alone so i have plugged this in and it has been getting really hot and it's very hot like this already so i'll just turn the stone out of the pack and make sure that the stone is facing upwards like this and not facing the gum parts the rubber part of the stone should be facing you while the gum part of the stone should be facing the table now and if i was working with plenty of stones i don't really need to be arranging this like this all i have to do is to put it in a plate and just be shaking it as i shake it it will be turning by itself all right because i'm working with a small stone and it's just for sample that's why i'm taking my time to be turning it up one after the other so just make sure the stone is turned up like this if you are working with a plain material draw or desire styling so you can follow it up with the stones so next you are going to take the already hot picker when you press this button it will make a sound like this they are going to place it on the stone and it will pick up the stone like this you still hold the button it will hold the stone so you hold the button pick up a stone place it according to your style line and you leave the button and hold down the picker for like 10 seconds hold the button down pick a stone place it on your fabric leave the button and you hold it down for like 10 seconds i'm simply fast forwarding this so that it will not take much of our time so you just hold the button put it on the spot where you want leave the button and hold it down for like 10 seconds so that it would melt the gum on the stone into the fabric so I'll just follow this process and i will speed this up fully following my style line so here i am done fixing it this stone pick actually fixes it very well you can see i'm actually applying force to this and it's not coming off just in case you want to apply a different size stone and you want to unscrew this make sure you use a cutting fabric and you double it because i used a line i was trying to unscrew this and it just burns the line you can see the black on it so you can see i'm using a cutting fabric and i actually doubled this so that i will not feel the hotness on my hand so i'll just go ahead to unscrew this and i'll screw in another size so you can see that all the sizes normally fit into this stone because you have to do it fast because it normally gets hot very fast so i use my clothes to just make it tight so in summary you press this button and it starts making this noise like this and this stone picker the difference between this stone picker and the other one is that when you press this button and you touch the stone it goes up with it like this 
it will not fall until you leave the button that is it you press the button it picks the stone you leave it and it falls but for the other stone picker this stone picker here is more like a heat applicator like you'd have to arrange your stones accordingly then you will use the stone picker to just be touching it according to the stones that you have arranged it functions in transferring heat to the already arranged stones it does not pick up the stones all right guys thanks for watching bye, bye.